Hello there guys, welcome back to Unistalks Football, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope all of you are doing well today. Reddit Mondays, yes, Reddit Monday is here. We are going to go through all of your posts on Reddit, not all of them, the top ones, as I've said. If you're on the Reddit page, make sure you uh, put your posts in. If you're not, link in the description, make sure you become a member, it's free. Go on there, put your posts up, make them funny, make them creative. The top ones will feature on a Reddit Monday. So we're gonna see what you guys have been up to, what posts you guys have put up, and let's see what the banter is saying this week. This edit is so clean, Edouard Mendy, let's see. How good Edouard Mendy is yeah. and how key he is to this Chelsea side. I think he's going to be the best goalkeeper in the league. He's so good. He's so good. Save after save after save after save after save. It just doesn't stop. It's like, it's like billions and billions and billions and billions, but save and a save and a save and a save. <laughs> and a tackle because he can tackle. Unbelievable. That goes on for two minutes, by the way. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can go on the page, have a look for it yourself. But that guy is a cheat code. As some of you put in my comment section when I gave you guys the match review the other day, you guys were like, Mendy's a cheat code against Brentford. And he was. He's an absolute cheat code. By the way, just going forward, when you put up posts on Reddit, make sure that there's no copyrighted music in the background because I always have to end up silencing that and then stick in something that's royalty free. <laughs> something a bit dead. Um, only because the video will probably get taken down or in the minimal, it gets demonetized. Um, but there, I have had videos where it doesn't allow me to publish it and then I've had to go in and take the entire segment out because it, YouTube won't allow it. Copyright nowadays. YouTube's changed. Bring back the days of 2012, man. YouTube used to be mad. Now it's all, everything has to be a certain way. Bloody hell. They call him Reese the Beast James for a reason. Well, who's that? It's not Reese James. Let's check it out. Top fish. Uh, Reese James. Reese James. There's a few tough ones. Maybe, maybe Reese James. Reese James. Reese James. Wow. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what a ledge. What an absolute legend. Nah, he's a tank, man. He is a tank. Reese James is, a, is an animal. Absolute animal. And he's fast. Unreal. He doesn't take any any crap. Get out! Get out! Get out! Move out the way! Move out the way! <laughs> Reese James is built different, man. Shout out Reese James. Me when people ask me if I'm rich. <laughs> I know what's coming. This is a wallet. <laughs> in a wallet, well, there's no money in there at the moment. <laughs> Ah, oh, thanks. I, I, I do normally carry cash, yeah, but on that specific occasion, I'd run out of cash. Uh, that's not to say I don't have cash, I just had not had any in this room, so yeah. <laughs> or in my wallet, where it should be, so yeah. I'll give you some gold for that, that made me laugh. <laughs> that made me laugh, that was funny. Yeah, I have some gold, I have some gold. The Chelsea Academy boys are smashing it lately, straight out of Cobham, yes, yes. You know, I remember a time where people would look at, at Chelsea and go, you don't have youths. You don't have you don't have an academy. You haven't got players coming through the system. Yeah, what what, what are you saying? What are you saying now? What are you saying now? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Silence. That's what I thought. We've got the best academy in the world. Yeah, come at me. Fight me. Yeah, I said it. Best academy in the world yeah i don't care about no barca ajax you the ogs we've taken over the scene we have taken over the scene these guys that are getting plucked out of cobham are all of a sudden becoming sensations <laughs> it doesn't stop it doesn't stop and you best believe on the carrier belt right now we got more lads coming through give it another year or two you'll see a new a new bunch of faces come through and then you guys will have more to say so yeah man straight out of cobham shout out cobham inc Cobham Inc. When life gives you Mason, choose Mount, not Greenwood. Standing ovation, everyone. Standing ovation for that. That's a st Standing ovation. Mason Greenwood is good. 
don't get it twisted. But he's no Mason now. Let's have it right. <laughs> now, you know what? I'm only just saying that because I've got my blue tinted glasses on. Let me take that off. Mason Green, we're a good player. Can't really compare the two because, let's face it, they don't play in the same position. But right now, I feel, I feel like Mason Mount has definitely had much more impact than Mason Greenwood in terms of club and country so far. So, but that's not to say Mason Greenwood won't become someone big because he's a baller. He's a baller. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens with him. Pogba versus Liverpool. Oh, I know it is. <laughs> yep. See you later. <laughs> and that, for, for real, Pogba came on, tackle, red card, see you later. But what, what baffles me, how in the, this is, you see, this is, this is why Oli is a problem. How in the hell, as a manager of Manchester United at home against Liverpool, do you decide to bench Pogba to play McFred? It, it blows my mind. How is this guy a Premier League manager? Any one of us would not have done that. No one would have done that, except Oli. <laughs> except Oli. Maybe Arteta too. <laughs> you could maybe say Lampard, except I don't think Lampard's that delusional. He's not delusional at all. He's a smart lad. How can you bench Pogba? against Liverpool and play McFred and then you bring him on and then you get sent off I mean it, it... Ollie 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 uh Skull spoke too soon oh yeah I know this I heard you guys talking earlier on about your potential title contenders but you didn't really see Chelsea as title contenders no. and Lewis, what do you think Lewis Lewis telling him straight. I think you've got the manager to challenge I'm just not sure I'm not convinced uh, I'm not convinced there's enough goals in the team I'm not sure You'll score enough goals and defensively good enough. Panic is not in his dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show him the entire Norwich game. <laughs> show him the entire Norwich game. Mason Mount, what a lovely ball. Rhys James. It, do it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. 7 0. 4 0 before that. Um, managed to beat Brentford, still have not conceded. I mean, we've conceded three goals all season. United conceded five just yesterday, uh, four against Leicester. Uh, Skull, skulls, get out. <laughs> get out. The one thing that he did say was after the game where they came back against Atalanta, he did say that if United play like that against Liverpool, United will get that will get battered. And it did happen. So fair play, as I've said, you've got to give credit where it's due. Skull's got that one spot on. So fair play to him for that. But for everything else, including what he does at home, is completely out of order. <laughs> If you know what I'm on about, you know what I'm on about. I'm sure you've seen it. Everyone's seen it. Bloody hell. Best keeper in the world. Is this the tackle? This is the tackle, isn't it? Oh, man, look at this. Look at this. Boom! Get out. Are you dumb? He can play centre-back. <laughs> look at that, man. Let's... Edouard Mendy's built different. He's built different. And then his reaction. Look at his reaction. Look at his reaction. Oh, it makes me want to punch a wall. I'm not going to punch a wall because that would hurt. But <laughs> that is, that is the Edouard Mendy, oh, the, the essence. Hazard and Pulisic seen each other in the physio's office for the fifth time in a month, be like. <laughs> Roy's Lewandowski. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, if Hazard ever did come back, that is exactly what would go down. Chelsea have launched a brand new Mendy condoms. <laughs> Buy that for maximum protection from pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> oh man, that is genius! That is genius! Chelsea, look, Chelsea, you've got a you got a pitch. No, no, you gotta take this. Who, who made this? Um I don't know if it was you, Nord Hagen00, that, that actually made this picture, but whoever came up with this concept, you've got a business idea. Pitch it to the club. I guarantee you'll be getting royalties. Guarantee this is marketable. If Chelsea do this, you best believe I'm going on getting some. <laughs> Come get easily getting some. Oh man, that's unreal. Mendy condoms. Oh my god. Ultimate protection. Ultimate protection. Gonna miss Timo. Why is that? Oh, what a ball from Barkley. Yeah, good finish, Timo. I mean, yeah, miss him for sure. Miss him for sure. It miss, we'll miss him as a person and as a presence. 
But I think the team will keep playing well and will keep scoring goals and will keep winning games and we'll keep doing what we're doing because we are Chelsea and we're, 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 we're managed by Thomas Tuchel. He'll make, he'll get 11 kids and get them to win the Premier League. That's just the way he does it. I, should, I shouldn't say uh, that's a bit too soon. That's a bit too soon. It's a bit too soon. Let's see if we do win the Premier League and then I can say that. Champions League? Yeah, he's already done that. I can say that. He can take 11 kids and win the Champions League. Yeah. Brick wall. Edison safe percentage this season, 70%. Allison safe percentage this season, 72.7%. What's Mendy's? Nah, you're kidding. Is that legit? Is that legit? 96.3? Nah. His safe percentage is 96.3%. That's criminal. He should be arrested. <laughs> he should be arrested. That's outrageous. Edouard Mendy. Best keeper in the world. Best keeper in the world. I said this last, last time. Best keeper in the world. Anyone that wants to say any different, hit me. But he's the best in the world. VAR checking if Norwich is a football club or a nightclub. Upvote, go Chelsea. <laughs> I'll upvote that. In that manner, we've also got to check if Man United are a football club or a nightclub. Manchester United nightclub. It does sound like, oh, where are you going? I'm going to the United. It sounds about right. Norwich nightclub. Where are you going? I'm going to the Norwich. Sounds like a pub. <laughs> sounds like a pub. Oh, yeah, but yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Poor Norwich. Poor Norwich. Getting relegated. Easily getting relegated. Always knew Pulisic was the next Hazard. Hazard and Pulisic linking up at Chelsea. Oh my God. Oh my God. I beg Pulisic comes back and doesn't have an injury ever again. Ever again. He has one more. I'm sorry. You're on the transfer list. You're on the transfer list. How many games Arsenal failed to win under Mikel Arteta? Every single game. Game after game after game after game after game after game after game. After game. <laughs> I mean, that's not really true anymore, is it? They're, they're on a little streak. What's going on? Arteta's getting the team winning now. I mean, as I've said, I think it's because they don't play European football. Um, but, <laughs> no, no offence, Gunas. But um, it does help you. We were in that situation. We won the league because of it. Arsenal won't win the league. That's a difference. But, um, yeah, they're on a little bit of form. It, best believe, though, it will come crashing down. This is Arsenal. It will reach a point where they lose a match. And when they lose a match, AFTV, social media, all of this, all of us will banter, banter, ha, 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 ha. And then a bit of a downward spiral happens. It's the Arsenal way. We've gotten used to it. It's going to happen. They'll lose one game, which they will. And then it will go down the drain. So, yeah. Waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Chelsea fans to EA when they gave Mendy an 83 rated card. No to racism. <laughs> Oh, that's outrageous. 83 for Mendy. I'll cut EA a bit of slack. Yeah, because they were probably basing it off last season. This season's just started. If next FIFA, yeah, we're talking FIFA 23, when that comes out, if I don't see Mendy as a 90, yeah, I'm talking Manuel Neuer levels, as a 90, don't buy the game. Do not buy the game. Let them to rock. Do not give them any money. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Pels in comparison. Kai Havertz, UCL winning goal celebration. Lacazette equaliser against Palace celebration. <laughs> nah, for real. The way Arsenal celebrated that. I understand. Yeah, from a footballing perspective, it's a last minute equaliser. Ha, ah, you go a bit crazy. But you're playing Palace. You are losing 2-1. You are at home. You're mid-table. We've had games where we were going really, really wrong. Really, really wrong. And... You just don't celebrate like that. You just don't. When you're mid-table, you, <laughs> you don't. The best decision made by VAR by far. Decision, London is blue. VAR made one good decision. Quality. Man United fans, after they are 5-0 down. Um, I, I couldn't believe this. Literally, yeah. 64 minutes in, everyone had left. Even before that, when they were 4-0 down, you could see fans leaving. And it just got unreal. It just got seriously, seriously bad. Fans leaving before the first half ends. You're playing Liverpool at home and you're leaving. Uh, don't blame them. I would have left. <laughs> I would have left. What are you going to stay for? You know, you're just going to drown your sorrows with some of the beer that you're going to buy from the man, from, from the club itself, from Man United. You're going pitch to uh, pitch their pockets even more. No, 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 no. You'd leave. You'd leave. Simple as that. You'd leave. We have found our new James Bond. Meet 007. Zero goals, zero assists, seven Premier League games. 
<laughs> Sancho is missing. He's missing. He's missing. He's done nothing. But then again, as I've said, I can't really blame these players, man. Um, even Ronaldo is not scoring. I mean, he scored against Atalanta. But apart from that, I think it's been a few games. You know, he's gone a little bit of a missing streak. But it's not him. It's Oli. The team's a mess. The team's a mess. Little bit of Squid Game reference. Real Madrid, Eden Hazard, Chelsea. <laughs> That is absolutely spot on. Real Madrid were like, yeah, we're getting Eden Hazard. We're getting Hazard. And Chelsea were like, open your bag. You don't have marbles. You got stones, mate. <laughs> Quality. Now, if you've watched Squid Game, you'll know what this reference is. If you haven't watched Squid Game, go and watch Squid Game. You take it from me. I'm not someone that likes to really watch too many series. But I watched Squid Game and I was hooked. Hooked. Unreal, unreal series, unreal. This is ultimate, especially the third try. Mm -hmm. And don't you live the line? You can't have a side performance, Tyler. F and sport, be different. <laughs> okay, louder, louder, this one. Shout it, come on, energy. You can't have a high performance, Tyler. F and sport, be different. And one more time, as loud as possible. You can't have a high performance, Tyler. F and sport, be different. You're changing gear, you're changing gear. <laughs> Class. That is stunning. Timo Werner got pranked so hard and he took it like a man. He went along with it. He bossed it. He, like, class. Timo is such a lad. Such a lad. Paul Scholes, just a question. If your keeper is a uh, man of the match, does that mean your um, team defended well? Me. <laughs> ah, Paul Scholes. Is this my house? Antri, please. He is my neighbor. Nur Sultan to the Akbar. Pain in my <laughs> assholes. I get a window from a glass, he cannot must get afford. A window from a glass. I get a step, he cannot he afford. Get step. <laughs> I get a clock radio, he cannot afford. Great, Great success. success. <laughs> Fantastic. Breaking news, after the Liverpool versus Man City game, these guys were planning on how to leave King Fred behind. Upvote for the best midfielder of Man United streams. How are we going to do this, Firmino? Do what exactly? Alisson, leaving for Brazil without carrying Fred along. Jesus, oh boy. <laughs> oh my God. F Fred, again, just as I've said in that game against Liverpool. Sh shocking, shocking. Just want to make fun of Man United following Paul Scholes' comments and result of their game versus Leicester. Oh mate, well you should have seen their game against Liverpool. <laughs> It gets worse. The only cup Manchester United will lift this season. They won't even have that. That's probably smashed on the floor somewhere. Out of outrage. Someone just threw it and it destroyed. So, yeah. There's, there's nothing to lift. Except maybe potatoes. Maybe somewhere in Manchester someone's lifting potatoes. That's the only thing anyone in Manchester is lifting this season. Actually, except for Man City. <laughs> they, might, they might win something. They might. But anyone else? No, not happening. I made Paul Scholes' version of the snotty boy glow-up meme. What did you do? Weakest defence. Christensen is young. Thiago's 36. Not good enough. Paul Scholes. Fair play, fair play. That was cool. Confirmed by Eunice, Lukaku is inevitable. Lukaku, absolute tank. Getting into the box between two defenders that are trying to outmuscle him and he's just going in like like Thanos. Literally like, <laughs> move, move. <laughs> he did, he did, he did. Be different, guys. This is the team of Werner Frank. <laughs> Be different. <laughs> How the way how he managed to play along for that long, I don't know. I don't know. Spitting facts, Paul Scholes, I have a question. Uh what did you do with Grandam? What did you do with Dammy? Wh Paul Scholes! Oh no. <laughs> I've got a question for you. Oh no. Because I saw what you did to my homeboy Lewis the other day, and uh, you said Chelsea have the weakest back four. Out of the top four, but you know, for starters, I feel like cause, and this is meant to be respectful. I knew that that is factually incorrect because for starters, you guys aren't even the top four, and we've conceded fewer goals 
this season that you lot considered in 90 minutes in the Premier League. So I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding why that's about. I want to have a little conversation because oh, I don't man. know. I saw an image going around. You know, rumor has it that you sucked for more twists this season that United have conceded goals. I mean, <laughs> this you ain't this you. You know what? Let me not even get to that because that's not necessary. You lot have conceded more goals than Arsenal in the Premier League this season, but your centre backs are supposed to be better than mine. Raw, raw. You might have thought it was sweet. R7 and Insular. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. Still I can't seven that's a mockery thing. Mm-mm, mm-mm. We need to have a conversation. I want to ask a question, innit? I don't want to have a two, just two minutes of your time. That's all it is. That's all it is. Because I'm not going to stand for that. Nah, nah. No chance. No chance. When you're ready, let me know. Send me your WhatsApp number. We can have a conversation. Simple. <laughs> simple. Light work. Hang on, I want to check this out. What's the Premier League table saying? Is it true that United have conceded more than Arsenal? Because that's a violation. If that's the case, that's a violation. Man United conceded 15, Arsenal conceded 13. Oh my god. Nah, no, United get out. United get out. United get out. Get get out. They, they, you are no, you are not part of any conversation any longer. How can you let that happen? Arsenal! Arsenal! This Arsenal have conceded less than you. Paul Scholes is here talking about defences. Nah, nah, I'm so- nah, nah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Man United have conceded more, what, you know, oh, you think I'm done, you think I'm done. Man United have conceded more than Southampton in 16th. More than Palace in 15th. Exactly the same amount as Burnley in 18th. This guy wants to talk about defences, Paul Scholes. You aren't allowed to be a pundit anymore. Get out. Get out. I'll vote for Eunice 2.0. Yeah, Diego Jota. People are like, hey, you look like Diego Jota. Hey, hey, hey. You're funny. Yeah, all right. I mean, I do. I do. I'm not going to lie. I do. I, do. I do. And thank you, Eunice, for the great content. Don't wear a pink jersey against Chelsea because, yeah, players will go around you. <laughs> players will chip you and players will definitely score against you. So that is uh, definitely something that you shouldn't be doing. Eunice, just look on the two of the four goals scored by our, our youth academy. If this isn't a sign for good things to come, I don't know what is. All right, go on. What have we done? Finish with his weaker foot. Tease the defender before. Oi! Just guiding it into the far Oi. corner. Cheeky. From then on in, the Cheeky. goals rain he down looks like Timo for Chelsea. No way. This one from Xavier Simons. Yeah, a little bit of good fortune from it, but you have to say, Malmo have switched off here. Totally switched off. I mean, what's their goalkeeper doing? That's one. What? What? What's he doing? But shout out, shout out. That's definitely a sign of things to come. I told you, Cobham Inc. Cobham Inc. Right, there we are, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. That was this week's Reddit Monday. It's a long one. You guys asked for a longer one. Here's a longer one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Today's a double upload day, so you're getting your preview for Chelsea versus Southampton later today. Make sure you are going to have your eyes peeled for that one, and I'll see all of you then. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Look after yourself. See you in a bit. Take care.